What's going on guys? I'm going to show you the most efficient, fastest way to gain XP and money right off a rip. So this is the beginning lake that you'll start off at is Betty Lake. And this is the strategy you can use with your beginning equipment. What's going to happen is they're going to try to get you to use baits, which we are not going to want to use because that makes you have to spend money and the little flies and stuff that they try to get you to use right off the rip are pretty expensive per bait so we're not going to use those and also they catch very small fish so pretty much what we're going to do is walk right over here wherever spot that you like i usually sit right here this is hunter vision as you can see there's really not even a lot of fish in this area sometimes it is that way so we'll actually go over here just for the video but normally I like to start off start off there when I'm at the beginning area. So one of the things I want to go over when you rank up to make it as efficient as possible for you, you're going to want to get the lower prices of the more XP all the way down until you can, until you can't, until it gets down to level 10. So the fastest way to get it is just to go straight for those right off rip for uh, lower prices one, more XP one, uh, more XP two, and lower prices two. Once after you get that, it's good, okay, to get Hunter Vision whenever you get a chance. And then once you hit level 10, go after lower prices three and more XP three. That is all of your skills, which you get one per rank and uh, also two. Another thing to go over is they're going to try to get you to use these flies, which can be pretty pricey per fish. Definitely if you're trying to use these to catch fish off the beginning because you're going to catch very small fish, like fish that are below a pound, which is ridiculous. And they don't give you very much money at all, and they don't give you very much XP. So we want to stay away from those, and you want to go down to your lures and go to spoons. This is going to be in your tackle box from level one off the beginning you don't have to buy it just click it use the biggest size they have which is the number one which i'm not going to use that because i have uh, an upgraded one but once you get a chance you want to buy the uh, dakino qrt2 and use the biggest one which is the 30 3-0 i'm pretty sure is how they say it uh you want to use that one as soon as you get a chance and also as soon as you get a chance start upgrading your line first because it's the cheapest thing to upgrade out of everything else as you can see like 130 140 you start going to like reels you know they uh, are pretty pricey once you start getting up in the higher ranks obviously I have lower pricing on right now but the reels and rods are a lot more expensive uh, per level than the uh, fishing line so I like to I like to upgrade my line first but enough of that pretty much uh, what you want to do is if you can if you want to weed out the smaller fish once you get up high enough rank I use the number five aught um, spoon the red spoon it goes up to a five aught and the seven aught um, I like to stay in between the three and five because that's the one that gets you the bigger fish and it's more efficient with catching them. So that's the ones I like to like to intend to use the most. Uh, they need to fix this. All right, so pretty much the strategy is let's look where some fish are real quick. Uh, all right, right there. So you pretty much just throw out as far as possible. I put my reel speed on two. That's my preferred preference. If I was you, I would do either two or one. One will be a slow straight is what it's called. And this is just called a straight. So you see the um, depth over going up. It's at 12.5 feet. Now it's at 13. 14 feet, 15 feet to the bottom right hand screen. Now it says it's on the ground. That's what you're waiting for is for it to hit the ground. And you're going to want to just reel straight in the whole time. Um, I put it on two. I think you can put it on three also and it'll still say straight. But two is a, a slower straight, which it carries. It covers more ground a little bit faster. And it, it's 
for me, it seems like it's the most efficient with catching fish. It's almost guaranteed every time to catch a fish, unless you're using the bigger hook. Like I said, sometimes if you're using, I've, I've tried using the seven, and I haven't really had much luck with it. But uh, with this one, uh, it, it pretty much catches a fish almost every time. It is a bigger one, so you're not going to always catch. But I also like to uh, turn my reel speed all the way up, right off rip. Using the beginning equipment, you probably want to leave uh, your drag on zero. I will turn this one up to like 17 sometimes. Um, and just turn the reel speed all the way up. Just when you're reeling in, just watch watch for your uh, drag. Make sure it's not in the red. If it is in the red, you can just let off of it for a quick second and get back on it and just keep pretty much almost fluttering it. And it'll tire out the fish. You want to make sure you have your rod up too, which on mine, I'm using a PS5 remote, would be R2. That lifts your rod straight up. You want to keep your rod up. It helps tire the fish out. But it's pretty much that's that's pretty much the method. You just let it go to the ground. As soon as it hits the ground, put it on real speed two. You will have to change real speed back. That is one thing I don't like about the game. I wish you could keep a real speed, like a fish fighting real speed, and then a you know, casting out, reeling in real speed, but you have to change it every time unless you don't catch a fish. If you don't catch a fish, you reel it in, you don't catch one, you throw it back out, it'll stay on the same real speed. But if not, you catch a fish, bring it in, it, it changes the real speed to whatever you were fighting. Oh, looks like we might not get one this time. This is a bigger lure, like I was saying. I don't know what I just did there. That was an accident. We will try to look for bigger size fish. We'll go out here. Here we go. Go down here. Looks like there's some bigger ones over here. If you're on the number three yacht, you won't have this problem. You'll pretty much catch almost any type of fish in the area. You'll catch even like the smaller ones. It'll normally keep you above five pounds though, which is good for the beginning area because it's definitely going to weed out like the like things that are below a pound and stuff that's like a pound because you get pretty much no XP and no money off those fish. All right, hit the ground, reel in. So in case you're worried about like not being able to catch fish with the three eye, like I said, with the green, the green one. Or the red one if you're using the three if you don't have very heavy equipment yet because this is really for when you get more upgraded equipment the uh, five aught I'm just trying to catch bigger fish see that's a, that's a pretty big one so you just flutter the remote if it's, it starts going up to the red just let off of it for just just a hair Let's see six, that's six pounds that's not even that big but that's pretty much the strategy. That's it. Um, it's an easy way. You don't lose money by having to buy baits. Um, it's quick XP because you, you lose all those little fish. It puts you right on like bigger fish. And it won't take you but just a quick second to get to level 3 to where you can buy the green spoon and put it on the 3 eye. But that's pretty much the strategy. It's a quick way. I've played this. I've caught a total of 50 fish before I hit level 9, I think. I mean, that tells you 50 fish sitting just to level 9, and you get a fish almost every single time you cast out. So it doesn't take long at all. But that's my video. Hope you liked it, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'm out of here. Peace.